Good day, and it's XOYN. We're going to have a look at cleaning up our vault because we don't like having barely any spots left over to put extra items into. So, what we're going to need for this is Destiny Item Manager. I'd highly recommend getting this set up on a uh, computer and then it will let you manage your inventory and also check out roles. The DIM will let you click and drag weapons around between different characters. So, let's say I'm going to go do a higher level content with barrier champions, I can go grab the incredibly underpowered arbalist with its genesis and anti-barrier rounds. It's, it's just a little help, and I'll put that over on my tag. This can also equip guns for me, so I could swap it to my bastion. That's a very nice uh, software to have. There's also trackers for your progress, vendors, it doesn't let you pick up bounties, you need the mobile app for that. And also, it lets you create loadouts and organizer. So, for example, over on my warlock, I've got a well lock super. This is going to be spamming my super on my well. With the change to mods recently, Dim is now able to apply mods for you since they are free of cost on your armor. So, here, what I'm going for is 100 recovery, 100 intellect, and a bunch of super buffing perks, including the well of potency from the artifact. I will have to, in the game, quickly buy the Well of Potency whenever I want to um, set up this loadout, but I am always stuck with focusing lens and particle deconstruction most of the time. Having a super every minute though is very fun, especially a super that lasts for 30 seconds. <laughs> so we're now going to get into trying to figure out what the hell you can delete. So you can see my postmasters are a bit full, my characters are all full, my armor is nearly completely full. There's a few items around that I don't actually need. They're just blues. This is a fake blue, it's just the cosmetic on it that makes it blue. So that's why I've got the little lock. In DIM, you can also chuck notes and tags onto weapons. So for example, I've got a heritage here that is decent for PvP. So what I did is I went into the note and chucked PvP onto it. And then I can also tag it as a favorite if I like. So for example, my favorite succession over yonder, this used to meet my favorite. It had reconstruction vault ball with no magazine. I got one just next to it over here, which has a magazine. See, this is the issue. I've got too many um, rolls. But that was my succession. There you are. So here we can go in and tag favorite because we like, and that's a PVE role. And so then what I can do is I can search PVE. And so now everything that I've got tagged with the note PVE is showing up. Or I could go war mind. And anything with that war mind tag. So let's say I want to go spawn some war mind cells. It's going to show up. I can also go to notes for mind. So this is also the start of how we're going to figure out how we're deleting certain roles. So my first step when I'm sorting the dim is we've got sort items. I like to go type first, so all the auto rifles are together. Then I go rarity, so the exotics are at the start of the type. Then I go name, so you're going to have your hand cannons grouped up by name and then within that power level, although it doesn't matter too much. You're never going to have stack size, all of these other types just don't matter at all. And then I like a grid for the perk displays. The list is... And so now if I look at the supremacy we were looking at earlier, it's a list downwards. So I prefer the grid. You can also just toggle it here. So this lets you see all the perks are a bit easier and this looks like in-game. So I much prefer having the grid version. The list was set by default when they updated it recently. So now, to make it so you've got a nice easy way to delete everything that you might want to, I like to compare everything inside of the vault, so that means I'll have to transfer all of my items to the vault. Though I don't have enough space because I'm brushing up against that 500 out of 500 slots. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our exotics out because I like to keep an exotic around. It is a strategy that you just delete unused exotics. Like, let's say I finish collecting all my eggs, I'm not going to use Wish Render again. And so I'll be transferring the exotics off. 
not the random rolled exotics. We like to see what those are. And then something else you can do to make space is um, to chuck the armors, if there is any spare slots, onto your characters. So I could go and put on all of my warlock armor so that I've got more space for transferring guns around. So here we have all of these guns uh, now in the vault. And so what I like to do here is I would search my auto rifles first. The auto rifles are all at the top. Then within that, I like to pick one out of each archetype I like. So archetypes are the rounds per minute. It also says the archetype here, precision frame, cons um, corresponds to 450. And then you've got rapid fires, that's 720 for rapid. And then adaptive is just in the middle and that's 600. So I want to see all of my adaptive frames. So we've got a few adaptive frames inside of the energy and a few in the kinetic. We're going to focus on only kinetic first, then later on we'll look at the void adaptives as one group and then we'll look at the arc adaptives as one group and that's because you're going to have void or arc shields or solar shields inside of pve and that's usually what you're keeping different guns for in pvp though the element doesn't matter so if i've got a good pvp roll here which it's not then i wouldn't keep these other two if they're worse in pvp but for now i'm keeping substance demolist and this roll zen frenzy i might actually delete that I'll not get to that though because we want to focus on kinetics only. So within my kinetics for 600s, we'll run through a bit of an example. So we've got Substance multi kill clip. That is a bit yikes because this is reloading the gun as I shoot, but this one requires me to reload. We've got another Substance multi kill clip, so we need to choose one between the two if we are going to keep them. And then we've got Under Pressure Rampage. Under Pressure is not too helpful a perk on auto rifles. I think the reason I did keep it is because this is 1330 gear. So what we can do is mark that as infuse, just so I know, and we're going to put it onto our character for deleting or infusing later. I usually only infuse items for Glimmer at this point in the season. I don't actually care about the pinnacle levels because I've got so many 1330s in every slip. So most all of my armor is 1330 unless I get new drops. Then I need to go off and get a powerful slash pinnacle and then I can infuse it up. So we had two of these substance multi kill clips. This is like complete redundancy. So we'll have to look at the magazine perks. So we've got Tac Mag, Acarize. You might have also noticed these plus icons, or well, thumbs ups. So that's uh, Chevy, who I've got no idea who it is, saying this is a good roll. And then they're saying that's better than having a pendant mag or flared. And I would agree. This tactical is always nice and a bit of range if you do want that instead. So we'll chuck that over there as well. That's another infuse item. Good day, Future Wine here. That was a quick overview of how you can use Dim here to sort out your vault. Obviously, I still got quite a lot of work to go. I'm just preparing my next energy weapons after recording the rest of the second part of this video, and I still need to get my 450 down lower. The second part of this video is a long form of me going through all my kinetics, cutting that down by a lot, and then also me going through another player's vault live on stream. You can check us out on stream, we've also got a follower goal, if we reach the 1000 before the end of the year then I'm going to go through, delete my hunter and replay all the quests. I reckon doing that on Blade Barrage will be a bit of fun. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for your time. Feel free to check out that second video, have a little watch, maybe you'll learn a thing or two.